Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, a couple of people have asked me since my last video um, regarding the Queen and her three options of what happens to her now. So let's go there. The Queen has now passed away and in our time she passed away on the 8th of September in the year 2022. However, where she goes, if she goes to heaven, there's no time there, okay? This is the big thing that we can't fathom as humans. So let's just go there. Out of the three options that I was talking about the other day, if she took the option where she goes to heaven, will she have a life review? And the answer is yes, because I've studied thousands of NDEs over the years, near-death experiences like my own. And those that have had near death, um, those those NDEs, near death experiences, they the ones that had the life review, they had no option. They appeared there and just had to do it. It wasn't like someone came up to them and said, "Hey, are you ready now to go and do your life review?" or go that way if you want to do your life review. Go that way to see all your relatives and go that way if you want to have a great day at the mountain. <laughs> There's no options, okay? So it's like a process where we just go through it, okay? So she would definitely go through her life review. So now that I've established that if she actually went home, to, which I call heaven, right? Home is what I call heaven. Um, if she has gone home, then she will be processing her life review. Now, let's just... As an example here, I hope I don't trigger anybody, right? Imagine a child who dies at two years old, comparing that to the queen who had 96 years on this earth. So would it would make sense that her life review, where we have to heal and go through every experience, action and thought that we had on our life, so it would make sense then that the Queen would be going through a very long life review, comparing that to that of a child who may only have a couple of thousand memories to go through, whereas the Queen's got trillions, okay? So the first thing here is we can't compare. We can't compare because each memory that I processed when I did my own, let me just grab my book so I can show you the one that I talk about when I'm talking about the cat and I'm pulling its tail so when I was processing the cat when I was a baby see how it's like a tv screen I'm holding it in my hand it was like a little tv screen and it had energy like an orb and I was reliving this this memory now the one thing some memories I perceived to be a lot faster than processing others. So some of my memories, it's hard to put it into time, okay? But some of my memories would have only taken about five or 10 minutes. Whereas other memories, I was there doing it for very much longer. Could have been an hour, could have been three hours where I was processing and healing one memory, okay? And the big thing that I want to explain here is there is no one there saying, hurry up, get on to the next one. So we take as long as we want in a place where there's no time. So it's got to wrap your head around it, right? But there's no time on how long it takes us to heal each one. That's what I'm trying to explain here, okay? So the one that I did with the cat, I actually did spend a bit of time with that one, okay? So that's why I like talking about it because it's still one of my very, very vivid memories of when I did my life review. Um, this is out of my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven. If you do want a copy or a PDF version, the links are below in the description. Okay, so let's get back. Will the Queen have a life review? One thing that we must go there with here is, Every single person on the planet can do good and bad intentions. 
It doesn't mean that we had the thought. Um, it doesn't mean that we did the action. It's the thought, huh, that matters, okay? How many times do we think about hurting somebody else? Like revenge. Oh, my God, he didn't in my car. I'm going to do this to him. Those are intentions. Those thoughts are intentions. And those are what we have to heal when we go to heaven, okay? So the big thing here is that I teach to people, stop having all those bad thoughts because those are creating the negative energy that goes out into the ether doo -doo -doo, of the universe and attaches to other people and it grows that energy frequency, okay? So we've got to stop doing that, all right? So did the queen ever have bad thoughts towards other people? I'm pretty sure she did because there's some things there that she you know, some of her videos where you can see that she's being sarcastic. The one that I saw just yesterday is she went to America when she was a lot younger, obviously, and they put her at the podium and the microphones are here. So all you see is her hat. You can only see her hat. So the next day she's at this other event and she sits there proudly and she says, I hope that you can all see me today. That's her having a dig. That's her letting them know, you guys made a mistake. I'm the queen. I'm the most important person on the planet, which she was. Give her that, give her that right? I'm the most important pe person on the planet. How dare you make, make those microphones so high? You should know my height because she was only a short lady, right? So that was her having a dig, okay? So, of course, she's done some intentional thoughts that could be perceived as not positive, okay? All right. So, let's go there. Back in the 1960s, there was an event where the Queen and her husband, Prince Philip, they went to a certain school in Canada. During this event, 10 children disappeared. Go and research it so you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of conspiracies out there and other thoughts about what happened to those missing children. Was the Queen involved with that? Let's go there with this one straight away. Now, you've got to remember here something that I really do want to stress, guys. At that time, the Queen was only in her late 20s. I remember myself in my late 20s and I was an idiot. <laughs> I'm just going to go there. I was an absolute, I thought I knew everything, but I knew nothing. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. I was married to my first husband and I thought I knew everything about everything because of my naivety of being a human who was now married. Okay, so could the queen orchestrate? Could she plan? Could she be the one who had that intention to do that that day or was she told what to do? Now, this is where the big thing is with the Queen and other people in power. They're all puppets. Remember this, okay? Even prime ministers and, and um, prime ministers and presidents around the world, they all have handlers. We've got to admit to that one, right? So it's just the way that government works. They have their advisors, their counsellors, and all these people telling them what to do. Yes, right? Pardon me. So was the Queen that day just following orders? Pardon me. Or was it her intention? We will never know the answer to that. But if the Queen does go through her life review, if she's gone to heaven as one of the options, she will process that if it was her intention to do harm to any other person. Now, let's go there again with another theory. <laughs> Was the queen some other alien species? Was she a lizard or something else? You know what? At the end of the day, we can joke and we can mock and we can assume and we can judge and we can assume anything that we want about anybody else on the planet. 
But at the end of the day, the biggest question that I want to ask you all, if you're asking yourself, was she a lizard, was she this, was she that? The reason, that I, uh, the, the big question to ask yourself today is, why does it matter? What does it matter to you? and what you're creating in your own life. So take her out of the equation and anyone else that may be in that theory with you if there's more than one of them walking around the world. Because ultimately, do I believe that there are alien species? Absolutely, because I've seen an alien. Okay, I touched one. Don't ever do that at home. But the, ob the obvious thing here is, if she was a negative one, the very fact that we're loving and kind repels them. They hate it with a passion because it's like kryptonite to Superman. They cannot handle love. So see how we are going to win this war now. Okay? We don't attack we don't accuse judge be sarcastic and mock and joke about it you know all we have to do is say i allow you to be who and what you are ultimately you're the only one who has to be judged by yourself for your own actions i personally judge myself in my life review for only what I have done. So in our life review, which is the front cover of my book, because there's me standing in front of the box of all my memories with the big three, I explain it all in my book, right? That day, I didn't have to judge the cat sitting there. I had to judge myself for why I did what I did to the cat. And then I had to heal the cat's reaction to my action. Okay? So we don't ever, in our life review, we don't heal what others have done to us. We only heal our reaction to what they've done to us. Now, trigger warning, this may trigger you. And if it does please talk to someone or go and seek professional help. But I personally do hear from a lot of people who were um, assaulted by relatives when they were younger. If you know what I mean. It's the S, assault, okay? They come to me and they say, oh my God, my life is down the toilet because of what he did to me when I was two. Now, when that person has their life review, they don't judge what that person did to them. They judge why we or they, the, the child that's now grown up to still holding on to that grudge, why are they allowing themselves to still be reacting to what that person did to them 20, 40, 50 years ago? Now, that is our life review in, our, in a nutshell. We only judge why we do things. We never judge why others do what they did, okay? Okay. So let's get back to the Queen now. In her life review, she's going to be going through what she personally did to other people. Her actions, her intentions, which are thoughts. Okay? So when she processes all these memories, she must heal everything that she did, which would be classified as wrong or negative in the universal energies. However, the things that she did that were right or good energy frequencies, those things are rewarded tenfold, just like the bad ones, okay? So when she's on the balcony of Buckingham Palace waving her hand 
And all those people sitting there waving their flags violently. Oh, my God, it's the Queen. All that reaction or reactive emotions. She now feels that too in her life review because she had the intention of walking out to let the people see her. Their reaction, which is their emotive state, she now feels that tenfold. So if you can imagine someone saying, yes, I'm so proud of you. Now do that tenfold by 50,000 people sitting in front of you. So she's about to have some very good moments, yes? And we've got to remember here, guys, whether you believe that she was human or other, at the end of the day, she was a human, well, form. <laughs> I'm not going to judge because I don't know her. I never met her. Well, I've seen her in person, but I've never talked to her. But end of the day, she can do what she wants. As long as I raise up my own energy, so I'm in a loving, kind, compassionate energy frequency, all these little mongrel little lizard things out there can't touch me. They must run away and hide. Now, they can try and attack me by sending me thoughts where I feel bad or I feel negative. But at the end of the day, I tell that stuff to Nick off. You've got no right or permission to stay on me because this is not my energy. Nick off and go home to back where you are from. Because then when it's returned back to them, they don't like it. Because I send them love with it. It's like kryptonite to Superman. They really don't like it. So, you know, they've got no other option because a lot of people now are waking up. A lot of people now are feeling the love within themselves and it's spewing out of us, going to other people. And it's like, oh, this energized. You know, I love it when I talk to people in America. I've got a great friend now in France. I've got beautiful people, Croatia, Russia. I've got people in China, Japan, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina. I've got people in New Zealand. I've got people all over the planet now. Spain, um, UK, you name it. And we're all on the same frequency. So it doesn't matter where we are on the planet, whether it be here in Australia, up here in um, Russia, over here in Europe. Dee, 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 dee. We're sending out all this love like a matrix. And we're creating a new world based on love, which does not have room for accusations and judgments. So life reviews, you know, I hope that you've learned something today about your own of what will happen if you go to heaven. Because remember, we've got three options. I did a video on it the other day. Okay, go watch it if you need to, if you want to. If you feel that it's going to help you learn this stuff. But at the end of the day, guys, the only person that matters is us. The more we do, the more better person we strive to be, the more helpful we are to others, the more kind and generous we are to animals, to other humans, the more we don't criticize, we don't put them down. We don't diminish other people's energies. The more we raise people up and compliment, the more our life review is going to be such an amazing time. You know, in my book, I only talk about bad experiences because I'm not egotistical. I don't talk about the good ones that I went through, but I went through hundreds of thousands of the good ones. And I'm sitting there bawling tears down my face of all this good stuff that I did. And I look at all this water on the ground and as soon as I heal that emotion, which is the action, oh God, because it's all one, that water just simply disappeared. It wasn't there anymore because it didn't, it wasn't required anymore because I'd healed it. So... Did the Queen have a life review? If she went to heaven, 
Yes. And it's only her discretion. And it's only her um, business of what happens there. The only person's life review that you need to worry about is your own. Hope that's clarified today, guys. Go out and have a great day. I'm about to leave my house in about half an hour. I've got to go out. So, today I'm going to compliment people. I'm going to let other people know how great they are. Because I want to create that, not only in myself, but also in others. So let the Queen be who she is or was or will be if she reincarnates her discretion if she has her life review her discretion her business is none of my business so have a look at what you've been posting lately about the queen is it good or bad is it sarcastic have a look at it and then judge yourself because it's in our life review when it's inevitable and it is tenfold that we do judge ourselves. Have a good day, guys. I know I will. Talk soon. Bye.